So one of the main reasons I started this channel was to shed some light on lesser known internet mysteries and works of online horror fiction, amassing ARGs, web series, and gaming. Recently, I was suggested a channel on my subreddit that really, really stuck out to me in a way that I haven't felt in quite some time. The channel that I'm referring to is one that's titled, Post Content. Clocking in at just 67 subscribers, the channel description here reads this. A nice place for high quality YouTube tutorials. <sighs> Straight off the bat, this is already looking sketchy, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. At first glance, this might seem like just another channel full of random weirdness with strange thumbnails and a banner that's hard to make sense of. There are only 8 videos uploaded at the time of writing, and each of them seem to follow, in a vlog-like style, an unnamed protagonist through his daily life. The kicker about this though, is that his life is the very thing that confuses me the most. At the outset of watching this, it seemed pretty straightforward, however as things continued on, and the uploads that would follow, question after question arose in my mind as I observed not only what was happening to our main character, but what was also happening around him. You'll see what I mean by this shortly. Before we begin this walkthrough, I'd like to take a second and point out the channel name. Post content. Why is it called post content? Remember that this is a YouTube channel. Typically, people will make up some sort of persona or use their own name or something. But post content? The parallel to this will be producing a TV show by the name of Make Show. It sticks out in a very strange way, and at the beginning here, I'm not saying that our main character is being forced to post content since I haven't shown you any of his videos yet, but I'd like you to marinate this idea in the back of your mind while we walk through this. One last thing, since each of his uploads are relatively short, I'm going to present the first few videos on this channel differently from how I usually do it and show you the one in question up front before we dive into the underlying questions afterwards. So without further ado, join me as we unpack the world of post content. It's not like I wanted to go outside anyway. I'm pretty sure my door opened very slowly and in a real creepy way. I was looking at my computer screen when it happened, sadly. Well, shit. Door just opened. <sighs> Fucking ghosts, am I right? Should I try to turn on the lights or something? Shit, I don't know. Maybe it'll go away. I don't know. Okay, straight out of the gate here in this one, we have gracefully ominous music playing in the background. Sure, we come to learn later on that this is simply him playing this off his laptop. However, this is vital to set the mood at the very beginning of this video. And it works, since when he pauses it, we have a slight break in the immersion. All done on purpose. Now, when going through this, you might be thinking, Ryan, my dude, that's clearly a paper mache mask. And while you might be right, you'll be relieved to know that this is the least eerie delivery and monster in this entire series. Yes, it gets better, and yes, there are more of these entities. Anyway, let's address the elephant in the room. Why is everything 
covered with plastic. What is it that he's trying to keep off his floors? Also, why is he willingly and calmly staying at this house that's clearly got some sort of strange presence in it? Let's press on and see what we can figure out. This upload is the most unconventional one on this entire channel. The puzzle piece that doesn't quite fit, so to speak. We just saw a strange promotion from a company by the name of EasyGo Solutions, and the title of this video makes us assume that this was ripped from uTorrent. The description claims that our main character, quote, couldn't find the EGS promo anywhere on YouTube, so he decided to upload it himself. After looking into the company, I wasn't able to find anything aside from a few tech support pages that are totally unrelated to what's happening in the video, so it's safe to say that this supposed company is confined within the world of post content. The weird thing about this though, is the fact that in the description, he claims that this message really speaks to me, and you might notice, Enjoy it before it melts. that it sounds just like him. Why is he recording and watching back his own voice? Is he aware that this is him? Let's move on. Trying out the vlog thing seems pretty easy. <laughs> Tonight, we have the creepy mystery man standing at the end of the hallway. Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a video essay on... Um, I mean, this is a vlog. Which means you... You will listen to what I have to say. So, smash that bell. Ring the bell icon. Um, and remember to... Anyways, I love you guys. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. New York City pop-up shop details is coming soon. Get your map merch logo about that slash shop, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Take it easy, fam. Calm, you got this one. Fucking hell. Our protagonist, at this point, makes it clear that he has some sort of problem, per se. As I stated before, he has not only one entity invading his house, but multiple. It's almost reminiscent of Hi I'm Mary Mary, if you remember my coverage on that. Anyway, it's starkly evident that he's hesitatingly reading out some sort of script while being watched by this nightmare mystery man. Whatever this is, at the end of the hallway, clearly makes him uneasy, and as a result, this could be why he has to consult a Logan Paul vlog for reference. He's so focused on being stared down by this thing that he can't even think straight, and at the end when it's finally gone, he's able to breathe a sigh of relief as if he was forced to do something and did so correctly. Fucking hell. Alright, 
So at this point in the channel, our main character breaks normal conventions and begins to do something a little different. Making tutorials. So here, we have a video titled, Encounter Tutorial. This isn't a vlog or a random shitty night that he's showing us without direction. This is a video that was uploaded with purpose. He's giving us an encounter tutorial. This inevitably begs the question, what exactly does this mean? The description here states this. Trying out a new thing. Hope you like it. I'm not really sure about the logistics of this trope, but I mean, if it ain't broke. Now, wait a minute. Logistics of this trope? You mean like a theme? A plot device? It seems like our protagonist has finally discovered a true direction for where he wants his channel to go. Clearly, something is wrong in his life and he's being stalked by a number of entities. However, it's unclear at this point whether he's making these videos willingly or forcibly. So far, all signs point to the latter, but he just broke the conventions of his own channel. Let's take a look and see for ourselves what he means by this. You've experienced it before, right? It's dark, you turn around, and there he is. Luckily, I've decided to make a quick tutorial on how to deal with this yourself, so that you'll feel prepared when it inevitably happens again. Also, whoever's messaging me, if you're watching this, please stop it. I, I don't need this negative energy in my life. Anyway, <clears throat> you've seen a horror film, right? Basically, all you want to do is turn around and then back again. Okay, now hold on just a damn minute. Did you see that? Let's roll that back once again. And That's a dead body wrapped up in plastic. The same exact plastic that seems to appear all over his floors. Interesting. We'll revisit this point shortly. Aside from that, the ominous presence here seems to be the same Nightmare Mystery Man that we saw in his previous vlog. This video seemed to have the sole purpose of showing us how he's dealing with his problems, but that leaves one major underlying question. Why does he have these issues, and what's the purpose of the excessive black plastic that we keep seeing throughout these uploads? The description in this one reads, Just a quick update for those of you who are curious about what happened earlier. I hope this clears it up. Don't know what this gentleman's problem is, but he's pretty fast. More tutorials coming soon. Before we dig into this, let's take a second and recap. At the opening of the series, we have an unnamed individual start a vlog. In said vlog, he seems to be haunted by an ominous presence. Here, we noted the excess of black plastic all over his floors. In the next upload, we found a strange video that he supposedly ripped from a torrent site and uploaded here for us. We then jump to a vlog where he hesitatingly reads off of a script while being stared down by yet another ominous presence that he's called the Nightmare Mystery Man. And lastly, he abandons all of the vlog conventions that he's built up thus far in favor of turning his channel into one that shows tutorials conveniently in the same video where he reveals what appears to be a body wrapped up in plastic. Now, we made the previous inference that he was being forced to make this content. However, from here on out, I'm becoming increasingly convinced that this is not the case. In this upload, we have an update on the previous tutorial video. However, it gives us quite a bit to work off of in terms of establishing what exactly it is that's going on with this channel and what our supposed protagonist seems to do with his spare time. So, I bet some of you are wondering what even happened in the previous video, and that's why I'm here just a few hours later, I think, to give a more in-depth explanation. It appears I was assaulted by an unknown individual. I, I kind of got pushed down and I tried to kick him, and I think I, uh, I got him pretty good, yeah. Yeah. 
and uh, as you can see I'm just fine feeling good I don't know maybe it was just some guy who tried to rob me or something I guess that happens well I hope you're looking forward to my next tutorial I really feel like this series is gonna take off A few things to note here. He has a bucket with blood and a pair of gloves inside of it. In the background of one of the shots, we can see a hefty amount of rope, and here, the tone of his voice seems to take a stark shift from being hesitant to what sounds like complete arrogance. I really feel like this series is gonna take off. Take it easy, fam. Calm, you got this one. Fucking hell. You see what I mean? Looking forward to my next tutorial. I really feel like this series is gonna take off. This all seems to be coming together. However, I won't draw any conclusions until I show you everything else that this channel has to offer. Let's move on. The video titled Constraint Tutorial is the most popular one on his channel, clocking in at nearly 300 views. The description of this one reads, Finally another tutorial. Got a bit queasy at the end there, but otherwise it turned out pretty good. Not sure which one of us needs to get out more, me or that thing, am I right? So thinking back, in his previous tutorial titled Encounter, it had a direct relation to the content within the video he was teaching us how to deal with encountering an ominous presence. Clearly, this one will have to deal with some sort of constraint, right? Let's take a look. Hello audience. If you're like me and hate looking into reflections during the night because you never know what you might see, well, I guess you have a valid reason now. You know, your first instinct might be to look away. I know that was my instinct, but this is something you really don't want to do, and I'll quickly demonstrate why. Luckily, we just need to keep our eyes fixed, and uh... Oh yeah, my mother is somehow convinced that with enough confidence all this will uh, simply go away. So let's try just asking nicely, you never know. <clears throat> I don't really feel like taking the provocative path here, so uh, you know what, you tell me how that works out for you. Just gotta keep looking. And there we go. I think I'll... I think I'll try and catch some sleep, have a good night. I don't know about you, but in this one, I didn't see much that could be passed off as a constraint. If anything, it teaches you how to deal with yet another paranormal encounter, except this time, this one has an actual face. A few things about this stuck out to me though. He claims, at about a minute in, that his mother is convinced that, with enough confidence, this will simply go away. He then goes forth towards the end to claim, I don't feel like taking the provocative path here so tell me how that works out for you. This ties directly into the inference that we made prior about his tone. He's gone from being hesitant to arrogant and provocative. But why? Why is he provoking these demons that are haunting him? Jumping to the end, he appears to get sick and throws up in the same bucket that we saw blood in prior. Afterwards, the web rip video that he uploaded earlier begins to play on the TV and all by itself repeats the words, it's behind you now, almost reminiscent of internal voices telling him that everything he's done is behind him now. Now if we make that inference, then what has he done, exactly? I'm pretty convinced that you're beginning to catch on, however before we dive into a full theory, let's take a look at the rest of the content on his channel.
All right, so here, we have our guy giving a tour of his house, if you haven't guessed by the video title. In this, he blatantly points out some of the major things that we've already noticed, including the bucket and the rope. Strangely though, while he's doing this, items begin to move around him and he ignores it as if it's a normalcy in his life. This is very clearly something that we've already established. However, once he begins to show us the rest of his house, things begin to come together. We have the hallway, a couple other doors I try not to touch, and the bathroom. Huh. Must be occupied. Now, I don't usually go downstairs unless it's absolutely necessary, but for the sake of my official YouTube house tour, I thought I'd make an exception. And here we are. Here we are. Huh. Doesn't seem that bad, actually. Thanks, YouTube, for helping me make this step. Yes. So it seems that the demons that are haunting his home are able to lock doors and move various objects at will. At the beginning and the end, we begin to notice the book and the light fixture respectively swinging, as if the house is alive with certain residents that don't want to be seen in the daylight. Anyway, one thing that I want to point out here is that everything, not just the floors, everything is covered in plastic. Why in the world is this so? What is this guy trying to keep off of his floors and couches? And what is the deal with him saying that there are rooms that he tries not to go into? Don't forget to like. Also, whoever you are, stop messaging me. I know what I'm doing. The most recent upload on the channel is one that's titled Indifference Tutorial. Here, much like the Encounter and Constraint uploads, is yet another entry in his mainline series of videos where he's attempting to show us how to deal with something. But if we can remember from a few minutes ago, his Constraint upload had absolutely nothing to do with the content in the video at all. This leaves me to wonder if he gave this video that same treatment. Let's take a look. Tonight's theme is indifference towards the things behind you. I have chosen to use subtitles since speaking would involve making noise. We're going to be playing a game where we wait. Morning equals victory. Victory equals staying awake. Whatever is behind has come closer. I feel breathing. 
this is my mistake, but morning will come soon. Safety will come soon. Guys, are you catching this? This is what I believe to be a narrative between a predator and a victim. In this case, the victim is the same person that's dangling right in front of us. Indifference towards the things behind you. Whatever is behind has come closer. I feel breathing. This is my mistake. Safety will come soon. It almost seems like a direct representation of what could have played out between our main character and whoever this is in the body bag. All right, so at this point, if you haven't put two and two together, allow me to explain my personal theory about this. I believe that in the story, this guy is a murderer that's slowly going insane and trying to find any way that he can to cope with it. The demons that we see are what I believe to be actual personified spirits of those that he's killed and kept locked up in his home. Clearly, as the channel plays on, he grows accustomed to their presence, but later on, and most notably in the video titled Constraint Tutorial, these evil deeds are beginning to catch up with him, not only mentally, but physically as well. Since this is the case, he consistently watches that video from WebRip in order to remind himself that every bad deed that he's done is, quote, behind him now. However, as we know, this is far from the case. I have a feeling that in the rooms that he, quote, tries not to go into are where he stores these bodies of his victims that are wrapped up like the one we saw in the encounter and indifference tutorials. And this is why he has so much plastic on the floors and furniture of his home. He murders his victims, uses the plastic to cover up the bodies, the rope to tie them up, and the gloves to keep the fingerprints off of them in case any are ever discovered. The bucket is full of blood stains because he uses it to clean up the mess that he continually brings into his home. And his mother, unbeknownst to anything that he's been doing, is simply brushing off his remarks about his hauntings as a lack of confidence, telling him that that's all he needs for his insanity to go away. We've referred to this guy throughout this entire video as the protagonist, however ironically, he's quite the opposite and his antics are very evidently beginning to catch up with him. This aforementioned lack of confidence is the very thing that we're seeing devolve into arrogance and denial and as this channel plays on, it's beginning to become clearer and clearer. This guy, in series, is doing his very best to stay sane, disregarding any self-awareness about the sadistic nature of his antics. Remember the constraint tutorial title that I brought up earlier? Remember how I told you to watch to see if it has anything to do with the video? It doesn't. At all. Think for a second about what probably happens when a victim encounters a predator. They're most likely stalked while indifferently walking around late at night and in the worst case scenario, constrained or killed. These so-called tutorials are what I simply believe to be underlying hints about what's going on in his life the increasing presence of the personified demons and his devolvement into insanity. In future uploads, since the account is very much still active, we might see more titles that are out of place, a rise in victims that he's captured, and even increased development with secondary characters, such as his mother and whoever that is on the other end of the phone that keeps texting him. Now, keep in mind that these are my personal interpretations of this channel, and this does not mean that it's definitive. The bad thing about covering ARGs and web series that are still in progress is that I could be proven entirely wrong in a following episode. Who knows, perhaps you could just be seeing visions and the body that we saw in the encounter and indifference tutorials could simply be a hallucination since that clearly is a recurring theme throughout his videos. One thing is for certain though, I highly recommend that you go over there, watch the entire thing through and draw some conclusions of your own. If you find any other clues or come up with any other theories on what's going on here, then I'd love to hear what you find. With that being said, this was my provisional theorization of post content. If more uploads arise, then I'd love to do an update video, but for now, I'll leave you with that. Going on a quick tangent here, I just want to say that this was quite a fun script to write since it reminds me of the old days when I had like 5 of you watching my videos, I'd stumble upon a creepy channel with virtually no subscribers, and would just have some fun kicking back, watching it through, and picking it apart with you guys. Shit, we are nearly 500,000 subscribers along and am completely blown away that so many of you have stuck by me for so long, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. 
Okay, okay, all right. Sappiness aside, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I love you all, and as always, good night.